Ooh, I've scooped up the last of the garden's flowers um, to show you a really quick video on how to arrange in some little shells that I've got laying around with these gorgeous tiny pin holders that um, I bought from Nawaki. Um, so I've got a lovely mixture of Cosmos Lemonade, which is that beauty there. Um, lots of different varieties of Cosmos, some annual Phlox, um, some Achillea, some Scabious, Rebecca, a couple of Sweet Peas, which are just hanging on. Um, these are the tiny, tiny pin holders, and I've just got a selection of shells here that I've placed in in them any shell that can hold water um, and if it's on a wonk or a bit wobbly just put a pebble or something underneath so it stays upright and then you can just pop the um, pin holder in with some um, putty underneath it fill it with water and then you're good to go this cosmos is my absolute favorite um, this is pied piper red and i didn't actually know that i planted it but it's beautiful and it's one of my new favorites So I've got lots of gorgeous colour combinations and once you've got your shells and your pin holders set up, you're ready to go. So I'm starting with this Cobea scandens alba, which is this cream bell shaped flower, which is an annual climber. Um, it's also known as cathedral bells. And I've got a bit of Thumbergia alata, I've got more cosmos, a dahlia. Um, I've obviously put in the Cosmos Cupcake and Saucers, as that's a favourite. This is the little floral putty I was telling you about that will help keep your pin holders in place. These tiny pin holders are so useful as well because they're not the large, like, clunky ones. So you can do really delicate table arrangements with these. Um, and they're really handy if you just want to showcase a couple of very beautiful stems. Um, so I've got some Rebecca Sahara there, which is a lovely, late, um, rusty-coloured, autumnal-looking flower. Um, and repositioning a few things because they fell over but if anything falls over it doesn't matter just get some putty put it in change the position of the shell um, just be very organic about it and don't worry um, the last sweet pea going in uh, this is oh this I love this one um, I think it's called something like cosmos cranberry click um, a double-headed one um, that's an annual phlox cherry caramel and I adore the colors you can just see that Cosmos, um, the Pied Piper red that I was telling you about with the, t the petals which have almost curled inwards to create these lovely like tubular petals. Um, so unusual. Uh, scabious as well. These really are some of my favourite flowers. And although most of the garden has gone over um, the Cosmos, the Dahlias and these late flowering um, stems are saving the day. And this is everyone's favourite, cup, uh, Cosmos Cupcakes and Saucers, which um, have, you'll seen on my Instagram a lot this year. And I'll be growing them again next year because they've just been so gorgeous. So play around with it. Just pick a few stems that you really like. This is a lovely, simple table arrangement if you just want to do um, something sweet for lunch. Um, it's far more delicate than doing big jugfuls of flowers. And again, less is more. You don't have to do too much. You don't have to cover up the pin holder. That's absolutely fine to show the mechanics of it. Um, but yeah, I, I really do love these. These are honestly my favourites and I cannot get over that Cosmos Apricot Lemonade. It's gorgeous. All these sherbet-y, sweety tones mixed in with these deep, rich um, autumnal colours. Just my favourite. So just have fun snipping away your favourite stems and placing them in any container you, you like. I've chosen shells because I think they're so pretty and I have lots that I've collected and are laying around the house and I think it's just something different, something unusual. Um, so try that. Now those little pin holders I mentioned before and you've seen in this video, you can buy um, that little tiny set of four from Nawaki, which is one of my favourite websites to, uh, to buy my garden tools from. I have everything from there. Um, everything is of exceptional quality, um, so beautifully made and last. They're all investment pieces, so they're tools that you'll have forever. They are amazing and I'm not sponsored by them at all, but I couldn't recommend them more, so go and have a look. And if you have any questions at all about this video, um, obviously just comment below or send me a message. And enjoy making your little pin holder arrangements. And enjoy these gorgeous last few weeks of this hot sunshine that we've been having this Indian summer. Um, it's just been heaven, hasn't it? So anyway, have a lovely, lovely Sunday. And remember, if you like this style of video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe my channel.